Hey guys, and welcome back. As I told you in the last episode, we are actually going to start our adventure and be introduced to our main character. Give me that money. She seems familiar, doesn't she? Important announcements. Didn't you already do that in our previous video there? It's monarchy. Hmm. <laughs> yep, Lord is a monarchist title, so be sure about that. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> like I said, this story arc and the males getting bitch slapped. It's hilarious. Why you would need to, I don't know, but you can use Hawk's bed to rest if you feel the need. There's actually multiple ways to get to where you need to go, but... To me, this one's just faster. Anyways, let's go down here. And talk with our buddy Eagle. Just a 
bad bit. Big talk. Uh, you're messing with a magician? Hmm. Be careful in the fight against the Eagle here, because he is one of those characters. He's pretty quick. Um, if you watched my previous video, unlike the Emma, uh, unlike Lise and the Needlebird, uh, it doesn't really matter now. But unlike Lise and the Needlebird, if you die here, it's game over. So just try to be careful in the fighting with And while Hawk doesn't kill him, as you clearly saw there, Hawk snapped him out of his confusion. Unfortunately. Isabella finished him off and lays all the blame for Eagle's death on Hawk. I didn't do a damn thing to him. Check him. He's got burns. You think I'm gonna burn him with knives? Again, oh, and I never actually voiced it, but I don't really care for Jessica as a character. She interferes with what could really be a good pairing of characters on here. And what she says there is, you can kiss Jessica goodbye if you say anything. To me, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but, uh, such is life. She's a story plot, so you have to deal with it. do this until our character has a bunch of strange things happening to him in his cell until that time you shut up you blue haired bimbo didn't kill Eagle did you? it's not all true you'd never do such a thing you and Eagle were such good friends tell me who did this to Eagle? it's what's wrong Hawk? who did it? why are you being so quiet about it? No, it can't be. Hawk, you couldn't have! Yeah, run and cry, bitch. Run and cry. Alright, that's pretty much all we need to do there. Now you should go back here, examine the wall. And with an explosive entrance comes Hawk's other best friend. The merchant cat, Nikita. Now let's get the hell out of here. Fight them or not, doesn't matter. You all get like one point of peace for them anyway, so if you want to get a couple of levels while you're here, go right ahead, but it's not really all that worth it. It would take you longer to get 
the levels here anyway than it would shooting it other places. I will, however, look at this. And while I missed it in uh, Lisa's video, if you watched that, while I missed her round drop in her video, every character actually starts with a round drop as a healing item. And you have at least one healing item before the prologue of a character ends. And here's Hawk's story overview. Except from being a story placeholder, she has no purpose in the story whatsoever. I mean, she just doesn't. Because, well, you'll see later on. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I will see you next time.